Hey everyone, have you been wondering where your favorite cruise ship is located or fleet of cruise ships in the entire world? Well, today we're gonna to introduce you to something called a cruise ship tracker. We're actually gonna introduce you to two cruise ship trackers. They're websites that show you exactly where your favorite cruise ship is. We'll also be able to show you some of their webcams and some of the port cams, so check it out. Hey everyone, it's Ken here from Northern Viking Explorer, and if you are new to this channel, it is all about travel, exploring, and discovery, so make sure you click that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. Today we're going to be introducing you to something called a cruise ship tracker. We're actually going to show you two of them. They are websites that show you exactly where your favorite cruise ship or fleet of cruise ships are located. And if you're a bit of a cruise ship nerd like me, you like to know the location, you may want to see their webcams, port cams, you might want to research other things as well like where the deadliest catch ships are from the tv show or the wicked tuna ships or boats are located or even things like where the united states navy hospital ships are located you can do that all through these websites so let's jump over to my computer and get right into this and show you how it's done all right so as i'd mentioned we're going to be showing you two cruise ship trackers today i'll link them both in the description below so you can check them out the first website we're looking at is cruisin.me and if you go to this website, we're not gonna look at everything here. We're gonna look at the trackers and the webcams for the cruise ships. So at the top, you're gonna see an option here that says trackers. And if you hover over it, there's a button that you can click on that says cruise ship tracker. So if you select that, it's gonna bring up a new page for you. You can see where there's cruise ships all around the world. There's tons of information here and interesting information. But if you keep scrolling down, you are gonna see all the cruise ship fleets from around the world. And not only cruise ship fleets, this is where you're gonna find other fleets like the Deadliest Catch TV show fleet. You could click on that and see where their boats or ships are. You could click on the Wicked Tuna fleet and see where all those boats are, as well as even the United States Navy. So you can see where the hospital ships are located if you click on that. So it's really interesting. But let's start out by checking out maybe a carnival ship, the Panorama. I've heard it's heading west over to Asia to drop off some of their employees. So let's go have a look at that. So if we click on Carnival, cruise lines here on the left hand side it's going to bring up a new list and you can scroll down and you can see all of the carnival ships and let's go ahead and click on the panorama here and see where that's located so once you do that it's going to load up information on the panorama you can find out all about the year it was built its weight its length all that kind of stuff home ports and if you keep scrolling down it's going to bring up a little window like this and it's got um, a status and it says underway using engine so currently the panorama is cruising along at a speed of 15.3 knots and i'm just going to x out of that and you can see it's out here in open waters and it's got a little scale here so you can see the distance as well but let's zoom out a little bit and this one you can see it disappeared there because I've zoomed out, zoomed out too much, but it looks like it's off the coast of Los Angeles heading west. So the Par Carnival Panorama, yes, it looks to be heading out into sea. So that's the Carnival Panorama, but there's some huge fleets of ships that are congregating together right now, I know in the Caribbean. So let's have a look at some of those other, other um, uh, cruise lines. Maybe let's go have a look at Norwegian here. So if I click on Norwegian I just went back there and let's find Norwegian cruise lines and scroll down and let's go have a look at the Norwegian escape so you can see again if you look at this map there's ships and boats all over the place you can just hover and hover over each of them and see exactly which boat or ship that is but if we click on Norwegian let's go with the escape I believe that's one of the ones that's off the coast of Florida right now and if you click on that again and scroll down it's got all the information on the Norwegian escape but if you keep going down it says the status of the Norwegian escape is at anchor and it's not really moving at all so let's have a look here it looks like the Norwegian escape is right here off of the coast of the great stirrup key Ooh, that sounds nice so let's zoom out and see exactly so it looks like all the Norwegian ships are not all of them, but many of them are congregated together. They're off of the Great Stirrup Key. If I scroll over here, it looks like there's a whole ton of um, Royal Caribbean ships as well as celebrity ships congregated together. So Empress of the Seas, Celebrity Reflection, Mariner. I love the Mariner. Explorer of the Seas, Anthem of the Seas. Those are all congregated together there. 
Carnival Liberty. It looks like there's a group of carnival ships here as well. If I zoom in. Ecstasy, Vista, Magic, Sunshine. And let's see where they are exactly located. So if I scroll out, I'll just zoom out on the map here. And you can see that they are basically off the coast of Miami, more north of the Bahamas. So you can find out exactly where those ships are located. Now, if I zoom in here on all those, let's see, those Norwegian ships, let's go have a look at one of their webcams. So there is another tab here at the top that says webcams, cruise ship webcams. So let's click on that. And once you've done that, not all the cruise lines have their webcams on here and not all of them are running at the moment just because of everything going on in the world. But let's go ahead and click on the Norwegian cruise lines and scroll down and let's go ahead and look at which ship were we thinking of. It was the Escape. If we click on the Escape, the bridge webcam is going to pop up here and you can see over on the left there are some other cruise ships so it's definitely congregating out there at sea for you to have a look at. And this image updates it looks like in another 20 seconds it's just going to update so you can go check out all the cruise ships webcams there the other cool thing is you can check out the port webcam so over here on the left hand side you're going to see it says switch to port cameras if i click on that and i scroll down you can search all sorts of regions around the world let's go ahead and find miami again and just look at that so united states cruise region and once you've done that, there's going to be a massive list of all sorts of ports and beach areas from around North America or the United States. And if I scroll down, Jacksonville, Ketchikan, Key West, there's Miami. Let's have a look at Miami. So if I click on Miami, Port of Miami, Aerial View, and scroll down, you can see there's a whole ton of ships there. It looks like there's some carnival ships there. I can see the red sale um, let's see if there's another one port of miami and yeah there's definitely some carnival ships there so you can go ahead and have a look at some of the different ports around north america and just have a quick look at what they look like so that is cruisin.me all right so the second website i did want to show you today is called marine vessel traffic and if you click on that website it's going to look something like this again there's a link below in the description there's tons of in interesting information here, but the one we're looking for says cruise ship's current position. And if we click on that cruise ship, it's gonna bring you to a more visual representation of different cruise ship fleets. So you can see all the different cruise companies logos here. And let's say we click on Royal Caribbean's logo. It's gonna actually find all the Royal Caribbean ships for us. Now, we know that there's a whole group of them off the coast of Miami, north of the Bahamas there. So let's go ahead and zoom in. I'm gonna make it full screen here and just zoom in and see if we can find that. So if we keep zooming in here, and it looks like there's a clump there of cruise ships. We'll zoom in. There you go. You can see all those cruise ships off the coast of Miami. And there's it's a great way to search for um, full fleets of ships. Now, there's a couple interesting things here. If you're interested in maybe the Mariner of the Seas, which is right there, I could just click on it right here on the left-hand side. And it's going to add it up here next to my face. There's a little quick access to Mariner of the Seas. And when I do that, um, it's going to track it for you um, and easy access to that ship. So if there's a specific cruise you're going on, you can go ahead and... Um, easily access those specific cruise ships. Now, if I click on more information here, another page is gonna pop up and it's gonna show you the port of calls that it's been in, as well as more information on the ship, the current lo location, the coordinates, as well as all sorts of information on weight and all that as well. So um, you can find all of that right there. This is a great tool if you just wanna find specific cruise lines. So Princess, again, I could click on Princess and it's gonna find all those princess ships for you. And again, if you zoom in, you can see which ones are at port, um, which ones are not at port, and learn more about them. So maybe I think, let's have a look here. There's the Sky Princess. Um, you can learn all about that there. If I just click on it as well, I can click more information and learn all about the Sky Princess.
So I hope you enjoyed learning about cruise ship trackers today. If you're like me, you want to know where the different cruise ships are or the different fleets, you can go check them out with these websites. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also remember to connect with me on social media. All the links are below in the description. Thanks so much for watching today and until next time, take care.